Hi everybody, it's Leah Rupel from Straight Up Coaching and this is another episode of Mind Movies where shift happens and I really want to pinpoint this concept of empathy and gratitude and I want to share a story of some visits that I had with my grandmother who's suffering from dementia, I have an uncle who's suffering from Parkinson's and a mother who's suffering from MS. So I have to visit three facilities and each in their own have people housed in them that are also suffering. They have family members who love them and care for them and they have care workers who go the extra mile in some cases to really take care of these people and make them feel special. And when you can't be there all the time with your loved ones, you do have to put your trust and faith into the people that are taking care of them 24 seven and when I walk the halls, it's not my most comfortable place to be, and of course, I'm there to visit, but as I walk the halls and, and peek into the other rooms and I see these other people and I think, for that moment, it reminds me to be really empathetic of what other people are going through and to put yourself in somebody else's shoes to compare, not compare yourself, not in that way, but just to appreciate what you have and to stop yourself when you feel like complaining or this time of year when you feel like you have a to-do list that's really long and you're, you're out there acquiring things and buying things and preparing things and then there's people that are being diagnosed and people that are suffering and, and people that are, they're just sad this time of year. And, and I think that this is why there is so much extension of work and help and, and people really want to do something. I think it should be done all year long. However, I think it's important to stop ourselves and for a moment appreciate how good we have it, that the majority of the population is suffering in some way, whether they don't have work or are worried about losing their job, who are having a hard time paying the bills. I mean, we come in a society of catching up or trying to keep up with the Joneses, which is ridiculous to me. I talk to clients and I always say you have choice you can choose to live a simpler life you could downsize you could move somewhere else but people don't and they say they can't and then they feel stuck and then they complain and then they judge and and criticize other things and other people for the situation that they're in and I always stop and, and ask the questions why don't you make a choice? Why don't you do something different? Because when you see these people that are suffering, the reality of what's in front of us at any one time, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind and you don't worry about it. And that generally tends to be the case. But for those of us that have people in our lives that are suffering, you really begin to minimize the things that, are, that you have to have in your life. And the, simplis the simplistic living of appreciating everything that you have, the people that are in your life, and to not take anything for granted. And I want to just extend the gratitude for all those people that, that work with people who are suffering right now. I have friends that are going for chemotherapy and I have people that are struggling for their lives and I have family members that are worrying about the diagnosis of a biopsy. I mean, these are real things, and I am sure that there's at least one person in your life that's going through this. So at this time of year, can you just think about the perspective of what you have and perhaps what others don't? I'm not asking everybody to be a bleeding heart. I'm just suggesting that perhaps shift can happen when you start thinking about somebody around you yourself or somebody in your circle that might be living a different life and that some things are just not important to them that might be important to you and that's okay. And it is never our place to judge somebody else until we can step into those shoes. So for, for today, I just want you to be aware of what's around you and say a little prayer for those people that don't have it as good as yourself and that maybe simplifying in some way might be a good idea and maybe there's something there to learn for yourself. So I wish you well and have a happy day and we'll talk to you soon on our next episode of My Movies.